Hey guys, it's Dee. I want to say Happy New Year. This is your reading for the new moon in Capricorn happening on January 13th. Uh, this is going to be for everybody that watches this video. doesn't matter your sign. So if you're here, your spirit guide has guided you here and this message is for you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you haven't heard, I'm also throwing a free three-day challenge to conquer your confidence. And we start on January 11th, which is Monday. So if you want to really have some fun, because this is going to be not like my usual challenges. I'm going to teach you a lot, but I'm also, we're going to have a lot of fun with it too. And my goal for it is to really get out of your comfort zone, to have fun, to make connections, and really gain that confidence. So if you want to join me in that, we start on Monday. Make sure you hit the link in the description box or in the comments below. All right, so let's see what is happening here. And while I pull these last two cards, if you haven't, just go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see new videos like this coming out every new moon and full moon. A lot of videos on toxic relationships since I am the expert in healing after toxic relationships. Um, you'll get all of that information as well. All right, so let's go. So with this new moon, we're letting go of something with the Six of Swords. So this is the overall energy. So during this new moon period, and again, the new moon lasts three days prior, three days after. So all of that energy is still really useful, I want to say. So every anything, and we will do some energy healing here. So just stay with me. Um, but this is about letting go of something that just no longer feels good to you. She's just kind of walking away and walking in this cold, dark place. And she finally just lets go. And that's with this new moon, which is a little bit surprising because that's usually what the full moon is about. But, you know, new bring, letting go brings new. So therefore, it's time to let go so those new intentions can come in. And if you haven't watched um, my video on the new year message, uh, definitely check that out. You can find that on YouTube too. So we've got the Two of Cups, we've got the Knight of Wands, we have the Justice card, and we have the Four of Pentacles. And to me, this is kind of like a relationship coming in for some of you. Uh, this Two of Cups is about connection. It's kind of new though, right? So new, immature um, type of love or connection. So I don't like to put love in everybody's heads because it gets us a little bit crazy. So this could be a friendship, could be a partnership, it could be romantic, it could be in work. But there's some kind of new connection, but it's very, very new. And, but it's come your way. And I feel like for a reason, because I feel like you finally deserve something good in your life. You finally are ready for something good in your life. There's a lot of mistrust here though. So just be worried, just be aware that you might have to let your guard down a little bit. And especially if you've, you know, um, dealt with toxic relationships before, narcissistic people, toxic people, you might have your guard up because it's not easy for you to trust people that they're not going to hurt you, they're not going to manipulate you, they're not going to abuse you. But you deserve this new beginning, you deserve this new relationship, and you deserve to let go of what was not feeling good. So any guilt or shame that you have around the Six of Swords, whatever you're letting go of to pursue your new beginning here, like, don't feel bad about it. You've sat in it way too long is what they're telling me, okay? You've got the Seven of Wands, you have the King of Cups, you've got the Six of Pentacles, and you have the Five of Cups. The universe is providing you with what you have been wanting. Um, it might not be in the way that you think it should look, but with the Seven of Wands, you know, this is a little bit of a defensive energy. You got the King of Cups, so this is very strong, very mature, very loving energy, and this is about kind of walking your own path, but we've got the Five of Cups here, which is looking at what is spilt versus what is in front of you and what is gleaming and bright. So the message I'm getting here with this row is that it's, again, time to let your guard down. So really focus on that with this new moon and maybe set the intention. And maybe when we go into the energy healing here, you can also set the intention of bringing that guard down and trusting yourself, accepting yourself for who you truly are here with the Six of Pentacles. And it's okay to live your life with love. It is okay to put love out there. It is okay to open yourself up right? We don't want to keep focusing on what happened in the past. We want to focus on what is in front of you. 
and you're not the same person as you were in the past. So it's time to really open yourself up, but also trust yourself and accept yourself and love yourself enough that you're going to make the right choices. And when something doesn't feel good, you're not going to wait and wait and wait to let go of it. You're going to let go of it quickly because you know that it doesn't fulfill you and it doesn't it's um it doesn't set your soul on fire. It doesn't make you feel good. And that's the thing. You always have to choose you first and not worry about how the other person is going to feel or be affected. And I know that sounds selfish, but at the same time, obviously, we want to let people down gently. But at the same time, we don't want to hold on to something that doesn't make us happy because we're worried about hurting somebody else. And that's really what I'm trying to say here. All right, let's go ahead and pull two more cards here. Yeah, so the hangman here comes out with suspense and waiting. I'm hoping you guys can see these cards. Okay, so suspense and waiting. And we've got the star card. And it says hope, inspiration, nature. Again, you've been waiting way too long. What is this thing that you need to let go of? Because it's time. New year, new you. New year, new you. And my saying for this year is do it scared. Just do it scared. You might be scared of it, but do it anyway. And you've got the renewal card. This is going to revive you. This is going to give you yourself your light back here. Allow you to be who you are without any judgment or worry or fear from somebody else. Okay, so that is a renewal. So we're going to go into energy healing with this. And if you've never done energy healing with me before, all you're going to do is just close your eyes and listen to a little bit of music for a few minutes. And I'm going to connect your energy with the divine energy in order to release any blockages. And we're definitely going to focus on this wall that you have up really with the heart chakra here. This is actually the root chakra. So this is about safety too. So we want to work on the root chakra and the heart chakra here so that you can feel safe enough to open your heart again and trust. All right. So go ahead and get comfortable and then close your eyes. And take a deep breath in and go ahead and let it out and I will pull some more cards throughout this so stay tuned for those messages all right whatever thoughts come in just let them come in let them flow out here we go
Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. And take another deep breath in. You can open your eyes when you're ready. You can let that out. Give your body a nice little stretch. Oh, I absolutely love this for you. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here, which is change and action. It gets the, the wheel spinning here. And then next you have opportunity. And we pulled one more card, which was the Ten of Cups. So there's a risk here that you have to take. And that risk is about lowering the wall and taking your guard down and realizing that not everybody is bad. However, learn how to weed out the people that don't fit you and aren't good for you. But you've got this Wheel of Fortune and you've got this opportunity. So around this new moon energy, there's going to be a lot of chances for you, again, to make connections, to see people for who they are. But you won't be able to do that if you're always on guard and defensive. And this Ten of Cups, which is a happy home, happy life. So in order for you to bring in whatever, whatever intentions you are setting for this new moon, it is all about letting that guard down and trusting yourself so that you can bring in the love and the life that you want. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up um, if it does and make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you are wanting to join me in my three-day challenge to conquer your confidence, your confidence so that you can let this guard down, trust yourself and accept yourself and love yourself, you can find that link down in the um, description box below. It is happening in a private Facebook group. So make sure you hit the link and check your email so that you can get into the Facebook group. Okay, and if you've already tried to sign up, make sure you're joining the Facebook group. It's it's a secret one, so it's not my usual one. All right, so much love to all of you. Happy new moon. Set those intentions. Let your walls down. Trust yourself, love yourself, accept yourself, and I will see you next time. Much love. Bye.